right welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new to my channel like comment subscribe and turn on the notification bell we will continue the part two of our logo tracing using our free hand tool let's say we have um let's go with this Eltel logo and the i think let's just trace this particular Eltel logo here so what i need to do i will explore my free hand tool and try to use that of busier to the one that is invisible i'll just be setting my anchor point okay and you should remember that anywhere you have curve you should um, make sure that the anchor points between each other is not as much as um, what we'll be having here like what i'm talking about now is here if you discover we have a very u curve here so the anchor point should not be as far the way this and this is while we are doing this or while we are applying this is we will not want in the situation whereby we will finish doing our uh, tracing and we'll be having lapses in it like i said what you use busier tool to do is just to set your anchor point you can as well zoom with your mouse and set it where it's supposed to be very well okay by men doing that you can now right click and click on curve this is the same action you should repeat to all okay then after which you can now begin to um apply that system of setting an anchor point between and after the already set anchor points we have so that we can have um a unique or a sharp logo without having any mistake at the end of the day okay so it's what i'm doing here so same thing will you do too as well to achieve um, any logo any kind of logo you may think of now we are doing scan trace it's called scan trace because um, we need to be conversant with the toolbox we've created at the past so that once we we start creating our own it will not be something new to us and one important aspect of you uh, recreating what um, other people that have been in the field before you one of the reasons why you should um, um, do exactly what they've done is while you are doing this you are equally equipping yourself or exploring in the field as well okay so same thing helped a, lo a whole lot of um, graphic artists today as the case may be you have to um, learn from others then before you can now begin to um, do it on your own okay so this is what we're doing all right now if you come here same thing happens here too now after doing this the next thing you need to do is all these anchor points you've created you just be setting a anchor point between and half before and after the anchor point that you have already then you double click at the middle one while we are setting this anchor point before and after the one we we created before is to make the logo straight or equally to make the um line straight i mean the line of the logo we are creating okay so that is it now if you watch here and i discover that this is not sharp so i've set anchor point before and after the one we have already then double click on it you see it very sharp so same thing happens to the rest okay so very quick one you do it and um then after that you can now bring out this traced logo color eyedropper then give it the color and remove the outline so by men doing this you discover that we've achieved this logo of course we have some lapses here what we need to do is to see do the same thing double click set an anchor point then double click okay same thing happen anywhere you see any lapses the same thing you do okay by men doing this your logo will be as smooth as the one we have before so thank you for view my channel share with friends and family and see you in my next video bye